Ignitus. Ignitus. Ah, come on. Ignitus. Extensive history. I wonder if collagen's vinyl suck. Candles. Ignitus. Ignitus. There we go. Oh! Hey! You're finally awake! Um. Oh, you can't tell how relieved I am to know that you're, well, not dead. Hey, don't move. And. Don't give yourself a headache on trying to figure out what's going on. Your wounds are patched up and are still healing, but those are the least of our worries. That sickness I told you about last week, I thought I took care of it, but obviously I was wrong. It has gone out of control and now you pass out more often than not. You have a severe fever, so I don't recommend moving. This? Oh. Uh, this is a book of healing spells, and over there is a medicinal herb books. I've attempted to do some healing spells for the past few days, but I didn't get far. Yes, I know I said I didn't know any, and am very much a novice, novice, but for you, I'll take the chance of learning it. But what I was able to do isn't much, but it's something. Check it. It it barely does anything as far as I am concerned, but it's something. See? Something. Here. Let me change this tile real quick. And oh, your pillow's hot. <laughs> And lift up your head. Ready? Three, two, one. Alright. Windra. There we go. Sit your head down. There we go. Alright. You should be more relaxed now. Your head is not letting up. This sickness isn't really showing any mercy, is it? Oh, hey, uh, I need to ask you uh, something. I'm gonna ask for a blood sample <clears throat> to examine what this mysterious sickness may be. That would mean a small cut on your hand? If that's okay with you. After I'm done, I'll patch it up. All right. I'll promise I'll be careful. Let me get this towel on you. There you go. Which hand would you uh, like for me to cut? That's kind of a weird question to ask, but... Oh, this hand? Alright, uh, that'll work. I promise I'll be careful. Okay. Hold still. Hand over the bowl. Alright. No, this isn't a blood sacrifice. Okay. Try not to think about it too much. Alright. Ready? Three. Two. One. And there you go.
All right, I have enough blood samples. Um, hey, let me try my Brasana spell. It shouldn't hurt. <clears throat> Rasana. <sighs> Still not good enough. Off with the bandages. Wow, you have really soft hands. Might I claim? You might think your hands are, aren't soft, but Davidians do nothing but manual labor. Like farming, hunting, building houses, statues, hot airships, uh, sky wheel saddles, the likes of that. Bandages are on. I'm gonna go make my way to examine this. This will be a moment. Oh, are you a little hot? Wintra. Okay, where are my glasses? There they are. Interesting. Hey, I'm back. So, I looked under the scope, and I found something. I drew what I found, and I want you to see if you know anything about it. Here it is. Does this look familiar to you in any way? I I've never seen it before. This so-called virus that you say. You say in your world it's called influenza or the flu. And there's three types of this. I don't have time to figure out which one this one is. Very intriguing, but highly dangerous. Hmm. This effectively makes you patient zero of influenza in this world. Great. Being patient zero, we don't have any medicinal recipes ready for it. And learning the spell Cura, well... Let's just say you might not make it by the time I learn it. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, uh, yes. I've tried contacting the local doctor a couple days ago to see if she can come and try and help you. But, sadly, she rejected, claiming that she and her sisters are preoccupied with influxes of refugees from other kingdoms. Remember what I said last week about other kingdoms being in turmoil? Yeah. Apparently it has gotten worse. Doesn't hurt to ask, though. Hmm? I've done that, too. I was hoping that you caught a sickness from our world, but you see all those books on those shelves? I've looked at every single one, trying to find just something, but instead you got something that is completely alien to us. Hmm. Is there an herb that will just enhance what? Immune system? What's an immune system? Uh, 
Oh. You mean that? Um. No. We aren't oblivious to its existence. Not entirely. We just didn't have a name for it. Anyway, yes, most herbs support this immune system. You're asking for the most potent and strongest one, right? Uh, that would be Vivin Root. We don't normally use those on young people like you. Mostly on elderly people, for obvious reasons. Hmm. I think you're on to something. Alright, let me see here. Okay, right here. Vivin root. Uh, this is what we're looking for. A mostly all-purpose medicinal root used for extreme illnesses, but more commonly used for the elderly. <laughs> Unless you're calling yourself an elderly person, eh? Eh? Never mind, no one ever gets my jokes. The one side effect is that the user will be in a heavy slumber for about 8 to 12 hours. It'll enhance your, you know, your immune system, but you'll be knocked out until maybe tomorrow morning. The more potent the root, the stronger the enhancement, but you'll sleep longer. Trust me, I know. Do I have Vivin Root? Uh, let me check. Yes. In fact, I do. <sighs> right here. I haven't used it in a while, but it should still be good. You know, it's quite impressive that you are able to still think clearly and effectively even under a severe fever. You're something, and I don't even know it. Anyway, I'll make the tea now. Let me grab this. Vivin root tea. Hey, let me help you drink this. Ready? Three, two, one. There we go. All right, the effects should set in now. And, um, hey. Are you okay? Your eyes are flashing. Hey. Um, are you okay? Hey. Hey. What are you doing on the table? Get off from there. Get, put your pants back on correctly. It's not a hat to twirl around. Put the books down. It's a book, not a food tray. Uh, this is very immodest of you. Uh-oh. Nope, not again.
You're finally awake. I, uh, it appears I fell asleep at your bedside. I mean, are you feeling okay? You, you looked like you were on acid. Y yes, you looked like you were on hardcore acid. How, how's your head? Y your stomach? Um, I was worried something permanent might have damaged you or something. <sighs> okay, I know you just woke up, but I am really... Really, really sorry. I, I, I didn't know your body would react like this. I, I, I didn't know. You were doing a lot of weird things, worrying things. Your eye color was changing, twitching, arms thrashing, muscle spasms, foaming in the mouth. <sighs> I promise I won't do that again. It has never done that to others before. Well, at least your breathing seems to be okay. Your forehead is not as hot, but it is still there. Well... I am happy to know that you are okay. Um, let me make some, um, some breakfast to make up for it. It's the least I can do. I'll be back. Hey, I'm I'm back. I made some breakfast. Here you go. Four steel bacon and squawko eggs with milk. I hope you like it. I tried my best. Um, eat up. You're gonna need it. Are you uh, comfortable at least? That's good to hear. Um, oh, y yeah, I I had to change your clothes again. This time into more comfortable pajamas after you, you know, got on the table, rubbed food on my books, started eating off of it, rubbed it against yourself, made a mess, and then foamed all over, you know, your mouth, and then, you know, got on your clothes. Yeah, maybe not now, but later I'll I'll tell you the explicit details later. For now, you go off of that information. <laughs> you drunk Terminator. Eat your breakfast already. <laughs> Ask one more time, or else. <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> We're in trouble. Now you have to eat cold bacon and eggs and near frozen milk. <laughs> hey, don't give me that look. Look, I'll heat it up. <clears throat> Ignatus. Oh, uh, it's, it, it's burnt now. Um, let me take that. I'll, I, I can make more if you, if you want. I, 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 
that, that, that sounds good. Uh, I'll be back. Bye. Shit. I burnt the food. Rise and shine! Oh, but there's no shine. Hmm, you know, it'd be a great shame if something were to, I don't know, open these curtains. Oh, you don't think I would do it? Well, if you're not out of bed after three, I'm gonna open these curtains. On three. Three. Yeah, there's no blanket to save you now. Get up, lazy bum. We got stuff to do today. Still not getting out of bed? <laughs> you leave me no choice. Levitate. Come on. Let's go have some breakfast. Good. Finish breakfast? Nice. Alright. This is it. First time going outside since I took you in. You ready? That's what I like to hear. Go ahead. Open the door. This is the new world. Welcome to Kirnavit. Check it. A whole new world out there. And it's ready for you. Ready for you to explore, venture, gain some knowledge, learn magic, find love. It's all there. All you need to do is take the step. Now come on. We kind of have a road trip we gotta do to the nearest town. We live kind of far. Go shopping, meet some new people. Oh! <laughs> the hugging type, aren't you? I like hugging too. Come on, let's get on with our day. Uh, yep. <clears throat> okay. Hope you know how to drive a wagon. Why don't you try it? Here are the reins. Now what you do, hold it in front of you, and then whip it. And make sure to say, "Hya." What? You say this back in your world? Hmm. Maybe that's, we're not so different after all. <laughs> Go ahead, try it. There you go. That's how you do it. Off we go. Maybe it's not time yet to tell. I've already played around with the idea, but I felt 
feel something different with this person. Something I've never felt before. I feel as if this person wasn't brought here by accident. Like, this person was meant to be here. Here to change something. Here to prove something. Here to challenge destiny. 